everyone, it's Alex and Gio from Red Titan. Yo, yo! And what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at the Silver Surfer comic head from Sideshow Collectibles. So Silver Surfer is uh, one of the characters I sort of love the most. I actually am a big fan and it is one of the reasons why we are called Rad Titan because of uh, Nora Rad. And um, we're going to go through this piece and you know, we're going to do the usual. We're going to let you know what we think and what we, uh, what we like and don't like. So keep watching, okay? Boom. Yo yo! So welcome to uh, Team Mad Time. As Alex was talking about, we are going to be going now. This is actually my piece. This is the Sideshow Collectibles Silver Surfer comic kit. Um, I think this is what is this? Two thousand and ten. Do you not know? No. Good. Good. Anyway, it's it's an older piece. Um, now. I have to say, before I even get off bat, you know, I might have to discuss a little something, something. Now, I have, um, I've never really been a huge fan of this piece, um, to be brutally honest with you. In fact, I, I may have, I may have slated it once or twice, three times, four times, a few times, a few times. But I'm going to bring in a couple of things in my just to bring to the jury attention to my defence, which is. The first time I ever saw this in person was at a friend's house and uh, it was out on display and to be honest with you it was quite kind of dull and muted because it had been sort of left in the dust um, so to speak and it does affect things I'm just that's just one thing and also the next time I seen it was when Alex brought in some fucking monstrosity version of it that had been messed with repainted yeah. played with and it was a really bad job so Someone decided that they were going to try and spray one with a spray can and um, it didn't go for a while. And it wasn't me. It, well, no, it wasn't you. It wasn't us. But um, actually, I, I saw a, a friend of mine, so I have to say a big shout out to our boy, uh, Tony Main. Um, his, his room's looking good. You know, you probably know him. You see it from all the groups and our group. He's got all the Arkham stuff now. He's gone a bit, he's gone a bit, it, he's gone full retard on Prime One <laughs> Arkham stuff now. Um, but you know, he got this in, and within a week of him getting it in, or so, maybe two weeks, he was. He, I seen it listed, so I, I contacted him and I said, you know, I was more curious about, you know, what was wrong, what don't you like about it, you know, what's it? And he said, no, I love it. He said, but you know, my collection's moving in a bit of a different direction. You know, it hasn't really, st you know, the excitement just hasn't stayed with me, and that happens for a lot of people in a lot of pieces, uh, even good ones. So I said, I, I said to him, how much? He told me the price. I said, fuck that. I offered him a couple of different trades. We agreed a trade which was for the XM Black Bolt. Um, this is only the regular version. Um, the exclusive comes with a print. That's pretty one of the best. It is actually one Three of prints. the best, best Side prints from Sideshow, to be honest, yeah. Um, so, long story short, I went around his house, I took him Black Bolt, he checked it, loved it, I looked at this, and I was really, really surprised. Um, mostly by the colours and the paint. Um, mostly. Um, I've seen this done, and I don't know, I'm just going to say off the bat, I don't know why you idiots chrome this thing, because for me it's one of the best painted pieces Sideshow have done. It's absolutely stunning. The under, I mean, you can all, already see that the transparent, sort of um, clear, you know, thing on the base there. I mean, it, in the lights it looks amazing, and same with uh, the cosmic off his hands, which even when Alex seen it, he said, I don't remember it being like that. I don't remember it being uh, as clear as that. Clear, because we, we held these up to the light and you can actually see through them. Yeah, um, there's like a purpley hue running yeah, through it, like a mauve hue, but that's yeah. it. Well, I, as I say, the guy who had uh, mine before me uh, decided to go a bit gung ho with a spray can and totally fucked it, so that's probably why I didn't see it. But getting back onto the story we had agreed the trade and i have the piece i actually once i got the once i the thanos was sort of you know close to reality i really wanted a quarter scale silver surfer i've seen the bushy one it just looks too big it looks it's almost one third how big that piece is and I, so that's a bit too much um i love the you know for me the bowen silver surfer still even though i own this the bowen silver surfer is the most comic book accurate silver surfer there is so I decided, yeah, I'll do the trade, and I've got the piece in, and that was part of my collection. Saying that, there are still issues that I completely still stand by with this piece that we'll go through very, very shortly. Okay. Before. 
I, I think I made a good case, didn't you? Well, I mean, I think the humble pie is baked fresh. You can eat that if you wish. You can eat that. The pie um, is fresh. Well, as you say, I mean, I'm a big fan of Silver Surfer. Uh, first appearance is uh, Fantastic Four number 48, which is the cover with Watcher on it. Um, oh. And then you've got like 49 as well. I think it's like Galactus is coming. This first appearance of Galactus and the first appearance of Silver Surfer, anyway. Um, I really dislike the classic looks of so like the modern stuff. Yeah, then Annihilation, he um, lovely cover. His own short run, which was, uh, I think, 18 comics, uh, which then was re released for some reason in like 1985 or something, but they only released 14 of them, and then he had another run as well, uh, a few runs. But yeah, Silver Surfer, a big fan of them. They're the ones that I remember buying, uh, kind of first of all, the, com the uh, news agent nearby where I live. For some reason, got the Silver Surfer comics in. So uh, that's the one I do remember buying, and I was always a fan. My girlfriend thinks he whinges too much and preaches a lot. But... Ew, bitch. Yeah, it's a little bit. Well, we, we, I mean, I haven't yeah. been there because he's, he's, he's Thanos' is bitch. I showed her the cartoons, and uh, they they basically stopped uh, after the first season. But what happened was, is every episode he falls off his board. <laughs> <laughs> he preaches about stuff and then falls off his board. But yeah, so what we do is start down low and um, pace. Yeah, so I mean, the interesting thing about this, if you have like a best of the spur or something like that, I think this actually does come out of this uh, yeah. base. So you can actually lay this flat That's without right. it, right? Which Alex does, yeah. which drops I, a, a big deal of the height off because the height is a bit of an issue. It's yeah. quite large, isn't it? Quite high. I think it's about 25 inches, but um, basically... Um, it's too when, up though, isn't it? That's the problem, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. too high, so you, you drop it down off the base a little bit and you can see more of it. Well, when I was in um, Singapore, and, uh, I went to Helmi's house and Helmi did that, so I kind of stole the idea off him. Stole um, that off you, Helmi, you trolling bitch. It's basically got... Um, I think the key is actually on the base. Yeah, it is. And it's, it's kind of like yeah, a big... Fine. It's about like that big. It's a big old uh, so key that comes out here. Yeah. And then this slots on, and then the surface. There's a hole in this part and the underside of it, and that's where the no nodule, no. nodule, no. nibble, nibble, whatever it is, key. sticks in. Key, whatever you want, the male part sticks in. Um, I would have liked to have seen like. this probably a little bit. I would love to see this glossed. That's how I would like, just black gloss. Yeah. It's, it's got a sheen, but I would love it glossed. Um, really great to see, actually, now it's under the lights. I am noticing that the whole underside of the board and all of this is the same. Mm purple hue transparent uh, part that the, the hands have, yeah. which under these lights is absolutely fucking awesome. It's well, just it's a shame because under my display, the light sort of runs across. I don't well, do it on this side. Like maybe that. I should display from that this line side. There, look at that. Yeah. You've got that purple down here. Yeah, maybe I should display from this way. I don't know, I display it the other way, mm. but maybe I should. I, the only thing is the scene is really fucking unsightly up there. Yeah, there. what are we getting up there? But yeah, this part's really, really nice. A lot of people suffer with like broken boards on this piece. And I would say, if you do own this piece, you probably understand the risk of shipping it. The way it's packed is, is uh, sideshow shite, as usual. It's really badly packed. It's really loose. And it's not a really good fit at all. I mean, I, I was worried about boxing up at Tony's and driving it to my house. And it literally, Tony lives around about eight minutes from my house. <laughs> so and I was worried the whole time. Yeah. I had it in the back, had the back seats blocking it so it didn't move. Um, it's really not something I would ever dare ship because the way it works is the board sort of sits sideways in and then two pieces go either side of it and it just it's, it's a bad idea. Well you just get these these break off, yeah, uh, these cosmics there, and then you always end up with like tips of these, uh pretty this one more. Yeah, uh, these these break off. I was well. worried that this was actually broken because of the length, but I checked mm. lots of photos and it was like, yeah, it's fine. Um, I, I have to say that, you know, getting onto it, the board is, is massive, dude, it's yeah. like huge. Um, this could be a little bit cleaner. This, um, the purple QE uh, pink thing up the board could probably be a bit sharper. It's a little bit um, messy around the bottom there. Nothing too horrendous, just, yeah. just a little bit. Um, you know, there are always slight paint defects on most things. There's a couple of little, there's a little mark I have here and there's a couple under the board that look like, almost like fingerprints to do with the paint. Looks like somebody had their hands on it as they were painting parts of it that weren't dry. If you look under here, there's like two things. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like with these black bases as well. You get like um, areas that, that get a bit shiny. Yeah. And they go a bit darker. Yeah. And it happens with PCS pieces all the time. Yeah, of course, yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. 
one other thing that's quite amazing, like honestly, really took me by surprise. You know, I had to I had to sort of hold my ground when I was in front of Tony because, uh, you know, obviously I was doing a deal and I couldn't have just been like doing cartwheels around this fucking front row. We would have been like, well, yeah, maybe I'm not doing the right yeah. thing. But I really was impressed with the paint. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. I was really <laughs> impressed with. I don't know how it comes across on film, but it is a metallic almost a, a silver metallic paint like car mm -hmm. you've got a high-end car like a Mer like a mercedes maybe bmw sort of silver you know like the aluminium silver that they do the light silver with then flex in it. it it has that that is the paint and it also is highlighted in uh, turquoise blue mm -hmm. the, like the musculature the triceps the the forearm the, the thighs it, it's absolutely stunning stunning mm -hmm. um I have no intention of leaving this out because it really, the dust really does dull all of these effects. Well, yeah, we've seen it. As I say, we've seen this piece several times and uh, that's the case really where people have had them left out and yeah, it does. It just, it, you, it takes away from that. The one thing I'm going to say, 100%, uh, you know, and I've said it to Alex in debates because everyone talks about, everyone talks about Carnage being too buff and too big, even though, you know, Marvel Wiki have him down at 6'9 and uh, I think he's six hundred and ninety-five pounds. Yeah, Carnage on Marvel Wiki is 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 the six hundred ninety-five. Six, I think he's six hundred and ninety-five with the symbiote on. He's six nine five, and his height is six foot one, as clear as Cassidy, and one hundred and ninety pounds. Now I can tell you that is not scrawny. Anybody who thinks a six foot one man and one hundred and ninety pounds is scrawny needs to fucking have a little look and and, and, and educate yourself because it's not. That is a muscular. Athletic almost physique, 6'1 one and 190. I mean, would you weigh 170? Uh, 180. Right, so you're because because <laughs> you're holiday, right? You're about 180, but you're yeah. about 5'9, five, 5'10. Five, yeah, so you add two inches to your height and another 10 15 pounds, and that's not scorny, dude. You're not scorny either. So, thank you. The silver surfer is jacked. Mm. I mean, jacked. He is like Ron, Ronnie Coleman <laughs> uh, on a surfboard, like unbelievable. Shit, you see why? Why? Because he's training. No, he was ill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I saw that he was trying to get back, wasn't he, from uh, all his surgeries and stuff like that. But he is. I mean, this is my one, com one of the complaints I have with this piece. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, the Carnage comedy kit is too jacked, it's too this," and they have this piece, and they don't say anything about it. The truth is, this is more inaccurate than the Carnage is. This is really, really big, and he doesn't. He isn't this size. He isn't this thick. I mean, his abdomen is ludicrous. The way his stomach bulges out, like the way his, I mean, look at how big that is. It's like it's stupidness. Look how big his psoriasis yeah. is. Look how huge his thighs. He's just massive. That's the HRT. That's like fucking. <laughs> he's basically all his, all his organs are grown inside. He's like, like massive, dude. He's so big, like unbelievably, <laughs> unbelievable size. But you know the the Silver Surfer. You know, if you want the accurate, the most, it's bone standard bone painted version. You know, but he has a pants on that you don't like. Then you don't like the pants. You don't like the pants. You don't like the pants. You don't. You got a problem with that. He does. He used to pick it like that sometimes. No, he is in the um, silver surfer number one. He has them. Yeah. yeah. He, some of them. Some of them he's smoothing like this. But you know, he, he he is a really thick set silver surfer. You know, yes. It's, it's just the way it goes. He, he really is. So if you can get past that, then you you want the money. You're halfway home. Yeah. Um. He comes yeah. with a lot of switch outs. This piece you get. You know. Three heads, this is, I mean, this is a regular, you get three heads and you get, you know, uh, five arms. Five arms in total. I mean, that's, that's XM level switches out for I mean, that's really good stuff, yeah, good value, good. great value. Um, the only thing is, one of the heads is really, really fucking awful. Well, yeah. But first of all, did you go on about the seam? Or could you say you were going to go to No, it? yeah, you got I mean, so like, If you look from, say, this, that's another this, issue. this angle here, I mean, uh, it's got the sort of style where his arms are attached by the delts. And uh, if you look at say where I am here, yeah, you can see everything. Like the seam here, the seam here, and the seam here as well. It's, yeah, it's the back is really bad as well. Bad. That's pretty horrendous around there. Yeah. The only thing you would say, right, is with this. I mean, the seams are fucking horrendous. They're they're really bad. But I think that they're as bad as they are because it's all one color. Yeah, yeah, I think you know other statues have have, have the same scene line up. For example, your symbiote one has a similar scene round the shoulder where the arm slits in. You know the spider. Yeah, but they they did something for that too. They uh, they yeah. did it with the suit. Yeah, that's right. They used this. That's what yeah. I was about to say. It's a similar type of scene, but they use 
the, the symbiote Spider-Man, yeah. the, the legs on the suit to, to, to mask it. And this is something, if this was a different colour around the delts here and you join the other arm in, you wouldn't see it. Mm. Not as much. So I think it's, it's a really bad scene, but I, I really don't know how you could get around it. Probably not with the, the not with the colour scheme. I yeah. mean, people say that it looks better with the chrome with the seams, mm. but I don't know. I, I I've got to be honest. I'm not a fan of the chrome look of it at all. It looks to me like Mirror Man. It's not the not Silver Surfer that I know. It's yeah. not something I appreciate the look of. I've read numerous comics. I've never seen anybody reflected in his body. Well, the closest you get to it is like number seventy five, where it's got the hologram cover, like the. Foil yeah, cover. the foil cover, yeah, which is, is yeah, but it, there's no, uh, you d it's just not something that I imagine him looking like, so mm -hmm. as soon as you do that, for me, you're pretty much changing the character, because yeah. I don't think it looks like Silver Surfer. Do you want to look at the other arms? Yeah, you can switch them, I mean, you can show, I don't know if you can see by taking the arms out, you can see here, but I'll do it from this way so you can get a good look at where the singles actually work, but the arms come out from that angle, Yeah, and you can pretty much... I don't know if you can see from there, but it is. You need the light behind. Yeah, you. I mean it is pretty clear. I mean it's very. I mean it's actually you're not from there. It's but it is very transparent through there. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful thing. I've not noticed that before. No, no, that's what I mean. So you have those two, and then you have. Let's have a look here. Have be careful. So you have this one arm here. Where actually, I think when you add this, I think the seams are the worst that they can look. Oh really? Yeah. So when you add this arm. Mm -hmm. Got two of those arms at home. <laughs> so we had this arm. If I show you from the side there, you can see that from there, probably mm. the camera wise. But if I show you, look, uh, yeah. it's even worse, isn't it? It's like the worst possible, you know, arm mm. configuration you can have. But it does yeah. drastically change the pose. Yeah, because it makes the. And then you, you get the ones that don't have the cosmic, cosmic which actually is really nice. So it's the same arm, you know, it's the same, it's the same thing, just pretty much without the. Cosmic on yeah. this one. I actually really like it without the cosmic too. Yeah, it's quite a nice look. But you can see it's a, quite a drastic change it's there. It's quite a nice change. You, you you kind of like if you were talking to someone and they said, yeah, you get one arm uh, with the cosmic and then one arm in exactly the same way without the cosmic, you'd be a bit like, look at that scene there, though, man. Look at that. How horrendous. Oh, yeah. So bad. But you get that, and I mean that does drastically change it. Then you get these three heads, and you get the, which I really like, is you get the screaming portrait, yeah. there, which is a really nice touch. May suit more of the arm up, you know, look to it. Yeah. You no, know, that's actually really nice. This the, with the arm, you know, that's all right. That's nice. Mm. The screaming up, and then obviously you can. You don't have to have just a single arm. You can do, you know, the cosmic if you wish. Have it that way. With the one and the other, I don't know how that looks. How does that look to you? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work, does it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I think personally it's either both cosmic yeah. or both without or one without and the this stuff. Yeah. I don't think it looks much. To, you you can if you really want to, but I don't think it does. And then uh, so you have this one and then. And then you have the really bad head as well, which... Uh, and that's without... That's, that's actually really nice. Yeah, and then you have the really, really bad head, which looks like he's farting and he's just like trying to figure out his shit his pants. That's nice. That's a nice one with him. That's nice. Yeah, yeah this head's fucking terrible. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's like really not, I'm not, it looks like he's about to cry. Yeah. It does look like he's about to cry. And I know that the Silver Surfer is like a little bit of a tortured soul, but at that moment, I mean, yeah. like that. I, mean I, I, I think I've got two of these heads as well. <laughs> that don't work for me, that. That's yeah. a really, that's a really like. You look. He's like, he's flying really going, yeah! He's <laughs> about to like break, you know what I mean? Oh, poor guy. This doesn't work, does it? Yeah. I love the hands. The hands are great. They're really well done, thick. Yeah, thank you. You know, good articulation in the hands. Really, really nice piece, really. But um, I think the, the fist up works with the screaming head. And I really like this with the hands behind. Mm. I kind of like that. I really like that. Well, I think the screaming head in the costumes as well. 
yeah, it does a little bit. I sort of put it on, but it didn't really work. Jenny agreed with me, screaming head with the. It's, it's a bit graceful. Mm. Found it was quite graceful, and it, this stern sort of look just seemed to work better. It's a nice stern face that he has there. Yeah. The, the seam across the head is shocking. Yeah. I think that's the reason I don't display it from this end, even though you see that lovely cosmic under the under the uh, board. I really don't like how much of that seam you can see on the neck. Again, it's, what can you do about it? Nothing. The only way you would be able to get away with that is to have a, a fully sculpted piece. The trick, yeah. That's um, and no arms, no switch outs, no options. Yeah, yeah. And then people would say, well, I want switch out heads. It is, it is true though. You know, it, it is one of those pieces because it's all one colour. You know, the the switch outs make it more, you know, unsightly. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those pieces. If it was a solid piece, it, I think bushy is, isn't it? Probably why that people. What is it solid? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It's nice though. This is a bit big. Yeah, I, you know, on the whole, I'm really impressed with this piece. Mostly the paint job. I can't believe how good it, I can't believe people chrome it with how good it looks. I really can't. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm shocked. For and so the, they send it to uh, Creation Pro, but it, it costs a fortune. Does it? Yeah, it's not cheap. How much does it cost? It would probably cost you this. I mean, like, especially if you're in the UK. It would cost you the same again as you pay for the statue to get it really done because wow. you'll end up being paid tax as well. All right, let me. Uh... You get taxed on your piece to get it back. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> you would. Not today, motherfucker. Right, so the height of this piece, even with the base on and the tax, is around 23 and a half, it's just about 59 centimeters, 23 okay. and a half inches. It's not bad. It's not quite as tall as that. No, it's not. The board, the board. The depth of it again is another horrendous nightmare. So I guess if you're using the cosmic, which is the that's the furthest it's got to be to the end of the board, which is about there, around 22 and a half inches, so about 56, 57 centimeters. Yeah. 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 Width wise, we're not talking about anything horrendous. It's the hands, probably the hands. The yeah, hands. it's not fun. Fun. Oh yeah, I would say so. So looking at it, it's about 30 inches across. So. That's 11. That's 11. Seven centimetres. <laughs> 28. Yeah. 28 centimetres. Not heavy, not the craziest weight, so I, I, would, I would guess anywhere between sort of seven kilos, about that, seven. There are rumours, though, that uh, Sideshow may or may not be working with a, uh, another surfer. Yeah, I've heard this. I hope Daniel Bell's doing it. I, like I told you. Yeah, that's why I heard it. I didn't yeah, know that. that. <laughs> 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 and you want to reveal my sores, right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, I really like that actually. Fuck, do I speak in that shit? Do I just pay it like this? I can't remember which way. I have it, I have it this way. The way up that way. I have it that way. Yeah, I have it this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, I have it like that. So it, the way I'm looking at it now, so for you it's that way. And then I have Thanos on the other side. I have it literally like. But uh, that's a really lovely, this side is beautiful. Yeah, that's that's it's almost that's, ballet like uh, yeah, yeah. race. That's but, how I have it. I have it slightly. Um, what do I have? Yeah, slightly tip forward. Literally, so. it, yeah, between Thanos and the tip of that board, <laughs> <laughs> his hands like there, the board like there. It's like so, he's tilting the board. Like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Come on, bitch. All right, but yeah, I mean, let us know what you think about it. Let us know um, what you reckon about where it comes as the uh, best surfers out there. Mm -hmm. You know. Do you agree there with our faults and flaws? I mean, there are a lot more uh, customs coming out soon. I mean, there was one by... That's um, a very nice. There's one by Franco Colossus. Franco, really Franco nice. Colossus. Uh, there's experience. one by Mac Customs. And there is another one which I think... Pablo Veggio... Oh, Pablo Veggio. Is that his name? Vigano. Pablo Veggiano, yeah. Yeah, Vigano. Vigano. Uh, I think he did one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like his stuff as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I got it in, I got a good deal on it. I mean, it's, uh, it's not, I don't think it's something I'd pay that type of money for personally. I wouldn't do, you know, this retail, when you were regular retails, anywhere between eight and a thousand pound, and the X probably anywhere between, you know, a thousand pounds, twelve hundred pound. Mm -hmm. If you can get any, any lower in here, then you're doing very, very well. Yeah. But I wouldn't pay that for this piece. I would be a bit pissed off if I did. That's just my personal Harry just one, didn't he? Yeah, he got an exclusive, and he, I think he paid close to eight. Or yeah, just like, I mean, he got a good. very good deal, but like I say, it's I don't fit. I think you know, I, even for an exclusive, I think eight hundred is like a little, 
a little bit high. Just for value for money wise, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't think I'd go that, I don't think I'd go that high. I think 800 is fair. For, for, an, for an ex, you're probably right, but I, I, I wouldn't pay it. Yeah. So I'm just saying, if, if, if it wasn't for the trade, I wouldn't have got this piece in. Cool. It's one of them pieces that investment wise, I, I just don't see it. Yeah. So, but you know, for what it is, I'm really happy, it pairs really well with the fan arts. I'll probably throw into Alex and put some pictures on there, two of them together. Mm. But right. um, Thank yeah, you. thanks for joining us. Much love to everybody out there. Stay safe. Mad love. Peace. Good text and drive. Yeah. <laughs>